Welcome back to YWIT's Magnetic Perpetual Motion Machines. Once again, I watched a video on YouTube in which the makers assemble a free energy generator and then run it, as if it actually works. You can find the link to the video in my video description. I have recreated this machine and show, with the help of my gravitational simulation, why this free energy generator cannot work. The idea of the free energy machine is that neodymium magnets are glued to a compact disc at regular intervals. I just use seven magnets instead of the original three, as it shouldn't matter anyway, as you will see. However, the magnets in the video look more like coin cells. The compact disc is placed on electric motor and can rotate freely. Thus, the electric motor acts as a generator when rotating, electric current flows through a power cord to a car lamp that requires 12 volts. I added the lamp to show the effect of flowing electric current. The lamp is missing in the original video. Unlike in most found free energy motors in the internet, the magnetic poles are not directed towards each other, but aligned sideways if they really are magnets, of course. Since the horseshoe magnet that clamps a compact disc are also arranged vertically, one can assume that the poles are also aligned vertically and thus the effect of the poles standing side to side is cancelled out again. In the original video, the apparatus is assembled and then initially started with a fingertip. The CD will now rotate without stopping, as you can see. It's really hard to believe that a video like this can get so many views when it so obviously can't work. So, what will happen and why? Because the opposite poles attract, the neodymium magnets on the compact disc will move towards the horseshoe magnets. The number of neodymium magnets is odd and therefore the arrangement is so unfavorable that the poles on both sides of the CD cannot point directly to the horseshoe magnets at the same time. Thus, an equilibrium will be established that balances the magnets so that they will eventually be at maximum attraction. Now, let's visualize magnetic attraction. If you've seen my videos, in which I compare magnetism to gravity, you'll see the gaps in the glass pane as Gaussian curves. Red balls in the indentations are the magnetic influences of the red sides of neodymium magnets on the blue sides of horseshoe magnets. The indentations are the influence of the blue sides of horseshoe magnets on the red sides of neodymium magnets. As a result, a ball is drawn into the cavity by gravity, just as a north pole is attracted to a south pole. As you can see, an equilibrium is established so that each of the red balls is as deep in the hollow as possible. When the state of balance is reached, the machine stops. There is no effect to indicate that continuous movement could take place. As a conclusion, the original video is well done when it comes to the manual skills of building a machine, but self-sustaining rotation is not possible here. If you are interested, you can see my method of relating gravity to magnetism on my channel. Click and subscribe to Wildwide if you dare. Thanks a lot for watching, have fun!